Uncommon for deer to run out in front of cars in our suburban areas. But what happened last night is very bizarre. News Channel 9's John Mabel is here now to fill in the blanks. John. Well, Kim and Latricia, a first car hit and decapitated a deer. Then the carcass sailed into the opposite lane and went through the windshield of an oncoming minivan. And passengers were injured. Now be advised, this video will show what's left of the deer. Imagine being the driver of this minivan. About 10 o'clock last night, this headless deer came crashing through its windshield. This, after another car in the opposite lane, first hit it and decapitated the deer. Look at the steering wheel. You can see the damage from impact. From there, the carcass moved through the van and ended up all the way in the rear seat. It's hard for me to imagine what the people felt like. Sarah Freeman drove up on this bizarre wreck. She lives down this driveway where it happened. It was really strange. That's unusual that you see that happen anyway. Um, I worry about the people that were in it. We spent the day trying to find out, but the records division of the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office was closed for the holiday. We haven't yet identified the passengers, but have been told the injuries were not life-threatening. Catherine Demahofsky lives down that same driveway at a different house. She works an overnight job and pulled in just before 5 this morning. She knew something wasn't right. I did notice as I pulled in, the, there's this big red streak on the bottom of our driveway on the concrete. And I thought to myself at the time, my goodness, you know, what happened? Somebody looked like something got stabbed. I need 11 and 3 quarter on a hay. This bizarre incident happened in the 11,000 block of East Brainerd Road in Appleson. It's an area that's seen substantial growth recently. We've had a lot of displaced wildlife. We routinely have deer in our pastures here. Our horses find it very amusing, um, but they do. They hop our fence and they go across East Brainerd Road, and we've had several killed right in front of our property. Now, as you saw, the deer carcass was still in the ditch when our camera was there, and the highway department was closed for the holiday. But after we contacted the director, he sent the crew out to remove the dead deer. Kim? John, thank you very much.